Let me tell you about the next service that we've got that I plan to cancel. For us, it's a no-go. This is not just AT&T, T-Mobile, or Verizon. This is all three carriers in one unit. This modem is no charge to you. You get to use it for free. I'm Tom. And I'm Cherie. And we're enjoythejourney.life. Hey guys, camping season is here. I'm sure a lot of you are excited to be getting out there on the road again and you're getting all geared up. So that brings this question from Keith. He asks, what do you guys do for mobile Wi-Fi when traveling? Great question. We get this a lot. And let me share exactly what we are using today and actually not using. Plus, I'm going to share a brand new RV internet solution that we've been testing and it might be a solution for you. So Keith, it really depends on what kind of camping or traveling that you're going to be doing. There are a lot of people RVing that are only going out a couple of times a year and maybe you don't need a lot of data and you don't want to pay for a lot of expensive equipment. Uh, and it, there's other people out there that need a full-time RVer solution. Uh, maybe you're working on the road or you've got uh, kids with you and everybody wants to be on the internet and you need an unlimited plan, high speed, you need multiple solutions for backup. In case you don't have the ability to use one solution, you can switch to another solution and so you've got redundancy. We'll talk about that. But again, I'm going to share exactly what we are using and not using right now. Starlink. Yes, Starlink. You guys didn't think I really left this in the trash, did you? Well, we did dump the service, or, or we paused it indefinitely. Uh, multiple reasons for that. Let me give you some pros on Starlink here. Uh, this has been a game changer for a lot of our viewers. Uh, I mean, you can get internet almost anywhere. Uh, I mean, there could be issues with trees. Um, if you don't have a clear sky, this may not work for you, um, but like if you're boondocking and you are way far away from any cell towers, um, this could be a great solution for you. So, uh, also, it's pricey. I mean, it's going to cost you $600 just for this equipment. Uh, a little bit bulky, a little bit of setup, I you know some of you don't like me dogging on Starlink. Uh, I'm not dogging, I'm just sharing the pros and the cons as I see them. Not everybody wants to deal with this. Uh, set it up outside, put it up on a pole, uh, whatever you need to do, lock it up, secure it. Um, so it is the biggest item in our list of RV internet solutions. So uh, we are hanging on to this for the next boondocking trip and, we, and when we might be far away from a cell tower, but for now it's just sitting in storage. Now this right here is the T-Mobile home internet solution. And uh, it technically, I don't think, is meant for RVers, but they are doing it anyway. And actually, we're going to share some hacks, if you don't qualify for this, on how to get this if you want it in an upcoming video. So I'll put a QR code right over here. You can scan this with your smartphone, get subscribed, because we're going to have a regular RV internet series where we talk about what's working, what's not working, uh, different solutions that might be available. Uh, so make sure you subscribe to the channel, that way you get notified for the next RV internet video. This solution, it's cheap, $50 a month, uh, high speed data. Uh, again, it's a cellular based solution, so it's limited to you know where uh, T-Mobile has service. 
and I have experienced uh, slowdowns of this in some areas. So it just, it really depends. This might be a solution combined with another solution. For example, this and Starlink, uh, possibly. Uh, so if you've got trees, you can maybe use this. Or if there's no T-Mobile service, uh, you can use Starlink. So, so this is a possible solution um, in some cases. Uh, we are still using this currently. So this is one of our solutions right now. And this is the most pricey solution right here, the PEP Wave. We actually have this in a rooftop antenna. Uh, worked great for a while. And this, if we were doing like exclusive boondocking, um, this would be what we would probably pair up with Starlink. Um, if we were going to be far out, uh, we needed the rooftop antenna to bring in the signals from far away. Uh, you've got a, you can put different cards in here from different services. Those are not necessarily cheap. This thing and the rooftop antenna cost like well over a thousand dollars plus the installation on the top of the RV. So this is in storage waiting for the next SIM card. Uh, if, if a great deal comes along, we might pull this out again, but this is essentially paused like Starlink. But a potential solution if you are, again, way out there and you want lots of redundancy, if you're working full time on the road, me doing a lot of uh, Zoom or video conferences, and budget isn't a concern. Uh, because, I mean, as you can probably see, you know, these things can add up to a lot of money. And that's the next solution I'll be talking about is it's a budget solution that might fit a lot of people's needs. Yeah, it may not have, you know, the speed of a Starlink, for example, but we'll tell you about it here in just a minute. But let me tell you about the next service that we've got that I plan to cancel. Now, this little guy right here is the FMCA Tech Connect plan through AT&T. Um, it's limited to 4G speeds. It's $60 a month plus the FMCA membership annual fee. And I used this for a while. Definitely not super fast. And there's been a lot of changes to the FMCA internet plans. Uh, like when I first got this plan, it was a different modem. I had it for a month and it got shut down. Then they sent me this. And this right here uh, has now become kind of redundant with this next solution I'm going to tell you about. And this was limited to, I think, around 70 uh, gigabytes uh, per month. And then they slow you down, uh, potentially. So right now, this is just an added expense. And I don't think this redundancy is going to help. So the FMCA plan... Uh, might work for some people, but for us, it's a no-go. So what is the brand new internet that we are testing out? It is the HomeFi router right here. It, I know it looks very techy and lots of antennas may be complicated, but trust me, it's not. Actually, out of the box... All I had to do was uh, basically screw these antennas in right here. That's it. This thing comes fully activated uh, when you get it. You basically just screw in the antennas and plug it in right here. And it's it's ready to go. It And you know what? I, I think, I mean, there's several features I'm going to talk about. And uh, again, this is just a first look. We've done some tests with it. Uh, we're going to keep testing it and we'll let you know in updates down the road how it does. But the initial results are pretty cool. Uh, what are some of the things I like about this? This modem is no charge to you. You get to use it for free. All you have to do is activate the service when you pay for whatever data plan that you're going to get. 
uh, you get the modem for free use and there's no contracts you cancel at any time so I've been thinking about this especially for part-time campers that just want a solution for the summer camping season or you just want to back up to uh, another solution that I've maybe mentioned Starlink or uh, T-Mobile Home or whatever this might be that solution because you actually save money by buying a data plan this is not unlimited but don't think it's not a good solution because not everybody needs a lot of data now you know we're <laughs> Cherie and I are on the internet a lot. We're uploading YouTube videos. Cherie has her PTS therapy that she's doing with clients over Zoom. And, you know, that takes up a lot of bandwidth. So we need the bigger plan. The first plan for this one actually starts at just $80 a month for 200 gigabytes. The biggest plan for just $135 and that's more what we would probably use. Now they have some in-between plans as well, but the cool thing is uh, you never run out. If you need more, you can just upgrade to the next bigger plan, or you can downgrade anytime. It's an easy get a hold of customer support via chat or email. Oh my gosh, there's so many things about this. Uh, you can connect up to 32 devices. It is a full router. Um, so you can hardline into this thing if you want to. I haven't hardlined into a router in years, so I, I don't know that you'd want to do that. I haven't even shared probably the best part of this solution. There are no SIM cards in here. This is not just AT&T, T-Mobile, or Verizon. This is all three carriers in one unit. Yes, that's right. This solution will connect to whatever tower offers the fastest 4G LTE service. Yeah, uh, I had an experience where all of a sudden the T-Mobile was slowing down for some reason, maybe getting congested like it sometimes does uh, in the evenings. I just unplugged it right here, waited a few seconds, plugged it back in, and it just automatically connected to AT&T, and I was back up and running. Now, I know we've tested Starlink and other internet solutions, and you see like, like 100, 200 plus uh, megabyte downloads, and you're like, wow, that's super fast, and it is, and it's awesome, but most of us don't really need that. I mean, uh, some of the speeds in here are 20 to 30 megs down, sometimes a little bit less. And uh, we've been watching TV just fine, uh, streaming movies, um, and, and it's fine for that. Maybe you won't, you won't have five TVs going at one time or doing just a lot of heavy gaming or something with something like this, but uh, if you're, again, part-time camping uh, or you just need another internet solution as a backup, uh, this might be, uh, again, a great companion to like a Starlink when all of a sudden you're in a campground with trees and you need something besides Starlink. Or you have T-Mobile home internet that when it's connected to 5G, it's gonna blaze past what this can do. But, you know, even at these speeds, uh, for example, uh, here's what we were getting from T-Mobile with this device. It was fine for me. I mean, we even uploaded a YouTube video with it, and it was fine. Uh, now let's see what the speed is for Verizon. So that's Verizon, again, right in that same general ballpark. And now this is AT&T. So the potential for this particular solution is it's budget friendly. There's not a high equipment outlay. I mean, no charge for equipment compared to the other solutions we've talked about. No rooftop or outside antennas 
you know, nothing to set up. And again, it's not anything against that stuff, but if you don't need it, you don't need it. Another possible use for this, if you have home internet and you just want to back up to that in case that goes out. So Cherie and I are going to keep testing this particular router from HomeFi Internet to see how it does going forward and we will have update videos to let you know how it's doing. But the cool thing that they did for us, for you guys actually, is they're giving you 20% off your first month of service. Yes, 20% off. Uh, I'll put the code down here and a QR code that you can scan to, you know, get in touch with them to look at their website and look at the different plans available. They've got fast shipping available. You've got seven days to try it out and return it risk-free if you don't like it. And again, no contracts. You can decide to return it at the end of camping season or if all of a sudden you are camping where there isn't cell service and it's not working for you. Um, but uh, we'd like to know what you guys think of it if you try it out um, because uh, it's been working great for us and we hope it's a potential solution for you. And hey, it's camping season. Enjoy yourselves this summer. Have the best summer ever camping. We are going to continue putting out helpful videos for you guys. And actually, check this one out right here. I think you're going to like it.